everybody. It is another day in paradise in beautiful Las Vegas. And I think I looked at the weather and it looks like it's going to get warmer soon. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, I woke up this morning. It was cold. And of course, at a quarter to five and I'm at the gym at 515. I hope you are too doing my uh, physical part of my life balance. And hopefully you're working out as well. Uh, it was beautiful this morning, though. A little bit chilly, though. Anyway, what's going on in Las Vegas? Well, here's the big news. It's the 27th of March. And this year we have steadied our median price at 425. We're not like dipping and diving like we were. So that is fantastic news. I was praying that it would stay that way toward the end of the month. And it looks like we still have a couple more days. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we still have Friday where we'll have more closings. But when I look at the chart and the trends, if you've been following me, you know, our single family homes, 425,000 and under have remained pretty steady for the actives. And they are churning a little bit over here with what's selling. So we have 71 days of inventory. That's super duper. Uh, you've listed 75 homes over the weekend. Friday, you closed 121 homes. So that brings our inventory down a little bit. We're not uh, listing as many as we're closing. So you know what that means. Inventory is going to get a little tighter. But, you know, it's springtime. So maybe all are out there farming and we're going to get more listings. I'm praying for that. I'm praying for you guys. Come on. You can do it. You can call, make those phone calls. Get those listings. And... If you're, if you're doing Instagram or you're doing reels on, uh, on Instagram and on Facebook, don't forget to tell, entertain people, but also educate them and ask them, you know, like, are you worried about selling your house? Cause you might not be able to find a house, whatever your demographic is, try to reassure them that, you know, there's, so if they're going to get the best price this year, it'll be in the next couple months. Now, I showed you that last year, how NAR and a couple other industry experts say, you know, April's the time to sell to get the highest price. Now, in Vegas, of course, we're different, so it might be a little different in Vegas. However, for the most part, uh, April, May are hot, hot months. So if you can persuade your sellers to sell now and tell them, look, this is a good time to sell and it's a good time to buy. You know, eventually our prices will go back up again a little bit. We don't know. Well, we don't know how much, but we always have appreciation over the years of 7%. So you can't really go wrong. The only, uh, probably the only people that uh, are commenting uh, <laughs> to me are saying, yeah, but I bought at 485 and now it's 425. Well, yeah. I get that, but that was an anomaly. The market just went crazy there last year for a couple months. But hold on, you're going to stay in that house and you're going to see the appreciation go up over the years. And people are staying in their homes 12 to 13 years. So with that in mind, figure all that out and, and get the message to the right people. And this is the right time. We have uh, non-owner occupieds are down from last year. And I think that's the interest rate. I talked about that last week. Um, 20 of our daily sales are non-owner occupied. And last year it was up at 30. So we're down about a third. That's okay. That's okay. It's keeping, it's keeping under 30% of the daily sales. The uh, million dollar homes. Let's see. I'm going to show you another thing. I told you I was going to do some of these different things here. Here's the million dollar homes. Guess what, everybody? They're approaching that three a day. And so they're going to, uh, they're going to be the, the third. We're going to soon be the number three in the stats of over the years of daily sales. And what I'm saying is that in, <clears throat> look in 2020, we sold two million dollar plus homes per day. Then 2021 came along, gangbusters. We did four and a half million dollar plus homes a day. Then 2022, last year, we did a little over four. So what that means is we've already outpaced 2020. 
And I keep 2020 up there because that was uh, the first time we had gotten two plus. So now <clears throat> if you take 2020 out of the picture, the last three years, we are selling more million dollar homes than ever before. So that's what this uh, little chart is telling you. Um, the other thing, let's see, we want to talk about today is I did this chart for you. So this is another chart. If you just want to simplify and you just want to talk about today's market with your people that you hand the chart out to, and because everybody wants to know how's the market. <laughs> I remember one of the classes we took and uh, the market at the time, this is probably back in the early 90s when uh, we had a war in the um, Mideast Desert Storm War and the market was really, it had really tanked. So we were taking some educational classes at the time because we, that was a, a good use of our time because we weren't taking a lot of buyers out for those few months there. And we would say, oh, the market is remarkable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, um, and then eventually it did change, but that was a good word, unbelievable. The market is unbelievable. So, but our market is, is not bad. It's really a good market. And uh, the days on inventory are one of the things that you can use to entice your sellers to sell because people still have to sell, obviously. We're still selling homes. I mean, we closed 121 on Friday. So those are 121 people that had to sell or wanted to sell, whatever. And the sellers are still there. And when there's less days on the inventory, there's less choices. And it's a good time to get your home on the market. That would be my pitch to them. And then, of course, 27% of the market is the 425000 and under. And that's a good number. That's a good number. Almost, a, almost, almost a third of our market is medium price. And so, the medium price is right in the middle. You know, uh, right in the middle there. That's the sweet spot. So, let's see what else I wanted to show you today. I have a class today, as you know. You see the trailer going across there. We have a CE class today. So I'm talking a little bit fast so I can get there by 10 o'clock and not be late. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. The sky is not falling. If you look at 2023 and um, the chart goes across by month and down by year. So in 2020, in January, we sold 8,651 homes. In 2023, 9,000. If you look at 2020 again, February was 8,272 and last month was 8,076. So the sky's not falling. We're doing fine. We just had a couple of wild years there, right? Um, I mean, if you, but look at 2022, 2022 started off really slow and so did 2021. But when you look at the 20, at 2019, it started out with a bang. So we were doing uh, about 25% more sales then. So, you know, <laughs> we, we live with the market. We take the market we're given. And I don't think it's a bad market. I really don't. I love the price point. I love the fact that we're, uh, we're selling not as crazy as we were. But, and hopefully you didn't adjust your lifestyle to all those commission checks. But um, anyway, uh, life is good here. We're doing good. So don't uh, don't let people say that we don't have a good market because we do have a good market. And let's see if I have this one. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Um, I mean, this is saying year to date, 61 percent of our uh, sales have been in the uh, zero to four hundred twenty five thousand. And this this happens to be all sales. So this includes condos and townhomes as well. And uh, you can see here the million dollar homes are 4% of the market, 600,000 to a million or 10% of the market. And then from, from the medium price up to 600 is 25% of the market. High rises are 2%. So this chart I do so that you can maybe figure out, maybe you want to go and list, get back into those neighborhoods where the medium price is because that's what's selling. Um, and again, the, the, the up to 600,000 isn't a bad uh, deal right there either. When you get above 600, you got a smaller market to, to market to. So these are things that, you know, you can take on your listing appointments and show people, you know, maybe they want to list at 625, but 
but really the house is worth like 595 or something like that. Sometimes this, these charts help, help you get that, get that um, house listed at the right price. So uh, just a little suggestion there.